I've been I've been very very excited. And there's a lot of good things and I hope you're ready for the new year. I hope these philos could take you a long way. And shout out to all the people who've benefited off of these uh and have been here. Honestly, I mean, I have a few little I could probably give a mini philo with it, but that was it was a thought I had yesterday. This is kind of the pre-philo. Uh a lot of things and shout out everybody on the prayer request. Always praying for you guys. I love all of you. I hope you guys are all doing good and I encourage you, you know. Chest to the sun, stay strong, baby. Uh, but this is one thing I've noticed, uh, or one thing I just said. Like this, this is something I've taken pride in, and it's just the fact that I get to say this positive stuff to this many people. Um, and it has nothing to do with the numbers, but the fact that all in one moment we could reach so many people who are just getting to hear a message of positivity at times and different stuff, and it's cool to see. And and that's the thing I, I what what made me really excited because I was like, man, I always wondered like about the people who say comments during it. Like, you ever notice like, I don't know, like it doesn't bother me in the same way it does because it's just like, whoa, big light bulb, you know. Even midway, you know, we give the disclaimer, whatever you want to call it. But I've noticed that like, even if you're here halfway through, and you have something negative to say that's related to the philo, you're engaging with it. So. I mean, you know, don't play with fire is what I'm saying, because sometimes it just takes a positive thought to plant seeds, baby. And that's another one we're going to talk about. So just remember the seeds, too. I'm going to bring that up to you today. But or tomorrow, maybe this is what I want to talk about today. I have a special, 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 special message for certain a certain group of people. Are you ready? Um, and you've heard something like this essentially. This is going to be uh, a, a reminder of some sorts of other of other topics we've discussed. But this is for my people who don't really fit in. OK, so some of you were the shot clock people last time. You know, I related to the shot clock people and I relate to this one as well, too. Some of you could be in both. But this is just for my people who don't really fit in too well. And it's kind of understanding this, honestly. Is it maybe today? Maybe today I might be able to give you an answer, and I don't know. Maybe seek God, and hopefully you come to the bottom of this because I know this bugs some of you, or maybe whether you admit it or not, some of you this might have bugged you, and maybe you've never understood why you don't really fit in. And I'm really excited to share this with you because maybe you should get some guidance on this or some understanding that'll show you there's been a real reason. And I hope you understand these reasons. And this is just one of the main things, you know, I'll, I'll give you one of the punchlines, but everything has a role to play. And this is a reminder of a more fati, okay? Especially all the people, again, you, you don't, you know, you feel like you don't fit in and, and you're right, you don't. <laughs> Honestly, let me just tell you right off the bat. I mean, and you can kind of see where we're going with this. If you fit in, if you fit in, Right. If you were technically accepted uh, and, and you really did truly fit in, tell me this. Would you be in this cult? <laughs> Think about that. Would you be in this cult? Would you really be like, oh, yeah, this is where I where I decide to I'm going to join a guy who calls it a cult. I'm going I'm to be a part of this. Oh, yeah, I'm going to start trading and then oh yeah, I'm going to start investing Come on. Would you? I don't think you would. You know, you would, you would be partying. You would have been doing something. You would have been caught up with whatever. You would have been, you know, honestly, you want to know why push-ups? You wouldn't care about push-ups because you would have already been doing push-ups. You wouldn't have cared about, you wouldn't care about all these little things, eating. You would have been so fitted in with other stuff that that's what you, you were getting either attention, vanity, whatever it is from other places or, or, or whatever the reasons you did, but it wasn't like, you know, you kind of, you were different than people. Push-ups and certain things, it was different for you, if you really think about it. So I like it, and I think it's good, and I, and I really hope, you know, at one point in my life, I had to realize this, you know, it's like, damn, like, I didn't really fit in in certain areas, and not all the time, and I hope all of you understand that is the key. Is that you? And it's it, I don't know, man. This is where I get crazy with it. This is where you could say it's even divine, and I, I I do believe it is. I think each one of you has had a path, and this is there's something about that not fitting in that is very very key. 
I mean, here's what I would tell you. People who who fit in do not seek. Let me say that again. <laughs> People who fit in do not seek. That's it. You will not seek something if you fit in. Do you get what I'm saying? If everything was already fitting in and perfect and you know you didn't have to do some stuff here and like okay maybe you you had all the friends you wanted you got to do everything you wanted to do you got to go on that opportunity you got that girl you had that friend group you got that house everything you fit in perfectly you would not seek in life you wouldn't have ended up looking in how okay well I need to get better I want to do this I need isn't that funny I think it's funny I laugh at it because it's like we see where it's led us, and, and some of you see the good, some of you have yet to see it, but at the end of the day, really what, what, what has happened? You've, you've been pushed by something that has given you this desire to seek. And, and, and oftentimes you, you look around, and you're like, well, my friends don't do this. My friends don't do that. My friends, well, yeah, they probably fit in. (laughs) So they, they, where is the, the motivation, the desire, the rationale to seek? It's, not, it's, it's non-existent. So I don't want to generalize, but hopefully you're following in with me. And Now, this is one of the other points. I, I heard this from T.D. Jakes, and this is where it kind of got a little crazy for me because he said this, and I was like, what? But think about this. What would Jesus be? <laughs> what would Jesus be without Judas? That's what I'm going to talk. That's, that's where we're going in on. That's where we're going down this path now. What would Jesus be without Judas? A lot of times you want to think, wait, wait, what do you mean? Don't you mean what would Judas be without Jesus? No. What would Jesus be without Judas? Where, what would the story of Jesus be without that one dude who betrayed him? The one dude who chose not to show mercy. Remember we talked about that? He made it a point to not show mercy to poor people. That's what said that in the Bible. That one man, Judas, and we always say one man of Jesus. But where, what would Jesus be without Judas? There's no story about that. You see, exactly, I agreed, it was all planned. And it shows you something, and I really want all of you to realize this. This is where it comes into a more fati. But everybody has a role to play. And I'm not saying here in the cult, you're going to be, you post the news, you do this, you do that. No, I'm saying every single person you've encountered in your life has a role to play. Some people were meant to not be there. They were only there to be there for a little and leave. Some people were there to be Judas for you. Some people, you will never lose them. You will never get rid of them. They were meant to stay there your whole life. Isn't that interesting? I think it is because we often... We, we get a little bothered by it, honestly. A lot of us, it's hard to believe this concept. We only believe it and have faith when it works out in our favor. It's hard to say, okay, that, that person's not here anymore. I lost this. I had my friend. I can't believe they treated me like that. I can't believe this person stole from me. I can't believe this person said that about me. Hard to have faith when it's not like, oh, wow, that person changed my life. It's, it's a lot different, man. It's a lot different. But everybody has a role to play, and this is something you have to understand. And this is where I get real spiritual and, like, divine. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I hope you realize, like, you know, God knows. I mean, this is what I believe. You see, this is where the faith part. That's why I'm saying you got to have faith a little bit. And you'll see your faith really does get put to the test in this sense to just really just understand. You know, even if you're not religious, you see, accredit this to the world if you insist. And and that's okay. I still love you. I believe in God. Maybe I believe in Sky Wizard. I'm dumb. I don't know what it is. But, you know, I've seen a lot of things in life. (laughs) But I hope you know every single thing was controlled to a degree. You know? Literally. I think the level of pain. I think God in every every single event you've gone through, God has controlled the level of pain. And he's controlled the level of rejection that you've received at every single level. That's why you guys are dealing with people. It hurts you. Sometimes you wanted. imagine you wanted to, didn't you want to be a part of a group and they rejected you? Didn't you, you wanted, you wanted to be like these people, but they rejected you. You thought you would fit in with there, but they rejected you. And it hurt for some of you. Some of you took it better than others. 
What happened? Some of you got banned and you took that as a message of rejection, low key, high key. And you said you went through a certain level of pain, whatever it may have been. I hope you know that was controlled and why. It, it, when you, this is what I'm saying. This is for my people who, who, fit, who, who don't fit in. For real. Because that level of rejection and these problems, are it's, it, it was all there leading you up to, to various moments in your life. And we're all constantly going through it. And it's there so that you do not settle below your destiny. <sighs> do you understand? <laughs> See, God knew you weren't, you didn't like it. But I, the way I say it is that God, he knew, but he knew he had to get you. The only way you were going to live up to your real potential, honestly, when it's all said and done, is if you didn't fit in with there. That level of rejection correlates to your level of, of, of real destiny, honestly. Because you would have stopped seeking. Those people gave you the attention you wanted. You got to hang out with those people that you wanted. You thought I was going to get that job and I was going to work there. You thought all the, you thought that was going to be the life that was going to change your life. Oh, wow. If I just get to work here, I met this rich guy. If I, if I could just work with him and I'll get an opportunity. That's how I used to think. It's, it's crazy. That's why, why do you think I always tell you guys, do it independent every single time? You guys say, oh, should I do a joint venture? Fuck everybody. Do it yourself. Every single time. I said, if you don't need anybody, don't do it. That's why, because I've learned that through my life with, with the uh, ups and downs. I thought this was going to happen. I thought if I just got this and it didn't work out, but I realized any of those events, I would have settled. I would have settled way below my destiny. Even to the point where I could have even spread a positive message about God. Yes, I did everything I did for my personal success. I went after money. I, I, I did that, you know, it's, and it's ironic and funny now what I could use that platform for. Not only just money, but even some of you guys, your, your life will change. Some of you will actually get up and, and you've made positive changes. And God bless the people who've, who've shown a, a real positive, you know, fruit from, from the work we've put in. And I, I appreciate you. But I hope you see that, you know, a lot of you are, you, you've, you've gone through this stuff, you don't fit in, and you're you starting to kind of give up a little bit. But you really, really need to just understand, that's just, you're going to deal with that pain for a little bit, but it's setting you up to not settle below where you're destined to be. And if that's it, it's, it's kind of crazy. Because if not, it wouldn't have been there. And then for some, I mean, and, and, and really it's just giving you a different level of conviction. Why do you think I believe in what I believe and I say what, what I say and fuck what I say or do? Honestly, you see me show up. You see me get shit talked every single day and I will still come here and break out a Bible and I will still tell you what I believe in. And I will still give you some positive message. I will still have to distort it and change it around just to meet some, somebody's oh, preference of the world. God, this, well, I don't care. Because you, you understand the message. It's positivity. But it's that level of conviction. Some of you got pulled back so far. You get rejected. You got beat down. You take all these L's. You know why? It's to all pull you back so that when you do arrive, when you do get to that moment, there is going to be a real level of conviction now. When you do finally get to that level of destiny, you do get to that opportunity, you get to wherever it is, it's not going to be just because you, oh, yeah, there's money. Oh, you, you might have done it for money, but you'll, you'll soon realize there's other stuff. You, 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 went, you had a conviction for something else because you've gone through the rejection. You've gone through the failure. You've gone through the setbacks. You've gone through just getting tossed and turned all the way around and pull back. So now this time, there's, a, there's just a different level of conviction in what you're doing. And some of you here today, you don't have that conviction. Let's be real. Well, I don't, I'm sorry. But this is what you need to realize. And this was another story. I, I, I loved it. This is what, what T.D. Jake said. He said he talked to this one guy, this famous artist one day, and he released a project and he asked him, he said, what, like, he said, I, I, I heard you realize the, I, I heard you release the project. He said, how's it doing? You know, how many of you guys, you, you work on a project, you work on something, you know, people, how's it doing? How much money did you make in the stocks? You know, oh, how many, how many views did it get? 
How many plays did it get? How many products did you sell? Well, what, 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 how, how'd it go? And the guy's response was beautiful. He said, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Woo! Imagine when you did something, if that was the response you gave to yourself and the other people. When you started really focusing now on what you are here to do. Do you get what I'm saying? And when you're working on it and you're embracing it and taking it where it's not, yeah, more fati, exactly. Saying, oh, like what like how's your how's your trading going? It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to it's up and down progression. We could call it whatever we want, but at the end of the day, it's doing exactly what it was supposed to do. Imagine if all of us it, put that on ourselves instead of these crazy goals. You know, and I'm not saying goals and stuff is bad, but I'm just saying that, like, what? Think about how high our expectations are. But there's not really, that, that, that takes a lot of faith to say he's doing exactly what he's supposed to do. Because, you know, people ask me on this stream, like, oh, well, you should do this, you could do that. What do you want to do this, this, and that? And, and honestly, when I heard this the other day, I was like, damn, because that's how I feel. That's how I feel exactly with this, with the stream, like with the philo. I don't know. It's just, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. I would say. But some of you got to start applying that in faith. You know, if that's what I'm saying. You're going through setbacks. You're going through rejection, people, this and that. But have you really came to understand that everything is just doing exactly what it's supposed to do? You see, so that's what I'm trying to tell you here. The, the point I'm trying to make, this whole philo, is just embrace everything. And understand everything has a role and everything is doing what it's supposed to do. No UK trade deal. Spice coming down on that. See, that's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. The point is to embrace it. A more fati. That's your reminder. I really hope you know. And you know, honestly, it's very, very simple. You do not fit in because you were called to something bigger and better. I know, it sounds cliche. I know, it sounds like it could make you some prosperity gospel. Call it what you want. But when you stop tripping on what's not fitting in, you're going to start to embrace the little things. And you're going to do everything with excellency. When now you're going about stuff because it's going to do what it's supposed to do, but you're not doing it for, for some vain effort. You're not doing it for some vain approval of somebody you're not doing it for this. It's because, you know, like you want to be the best trader. You want to build a, a life for your family. You want to be a, a self-sufficient man or woman. But that's, you have to realize that. And you have to, that's it. If it's not fitting in, you're going to embrace the small things. But you're called to something bigger and better. And I hope some of you realize that. And I hope some of you Stop tripping on what did not fit. Because that's it. Because when it does fit, it will never, if it really does fit, it will never leave. And every single one of you had these roles and gone through this, but I hope you just understand that. And I hope you could have a more fati. I really hope you do a more fati. I hope you do love fate and truly do. Yes, you could, you could, you could summarize this and more fati, trust the process. But it's just understand, like really get, like go look in your past life, how everything is led up to it. But you don't forget this. We have short term memory and it's easy to forget in the moment and get caught up with it. Then realizing everything is doing what it's supposed to do. So that's going to be my new Amor Fati for the next week or so. But I hope it hangs with you guys and I hope you guys are there. And I'm, I'm glad that some of you have both fit in and not fit in here. In very various ways. I'm glad to have encountered some of you. Some of you will be here for a little bit. Some of you were only here. I, some of you were here just for a moment. And, and there was a purpose. You're ever doing what you're supposed to. Some of you are going to be here forever. It's amazing to think about. But you see it in your life. And, and, and take pride in that. So you can walk every single day. With more peace. Honestly. That's why I've been telling you. Have some more peace when you could understand that everything really is working how it is supposed to be there. 
And when you can understand that and stop focusing on the extracurricular and getting caught up in the other stuff, you're going to focus on those, the excellency of that. And you're going to do the, you're going to do the little things good. Remember that training ground? Hey, don't forget, baby. You're going to work on that and, and build that up. And it's all going to, it's setting you up for there. Everything was prescribed, baby. That's, that's what is prescribed. In the world, you call it the world. I call it God. God knows what you can handle. That's why. But some of you are very hard-headed. You know that? That's why sometimes the blows are a little bit harder because it took a bigger level of rejection or force to push you in a direction than anything else. So, run it. Keep your head up high. And don't, don't you know, have your goals, but don't get too focused on, 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 on what that fruit is supposed to bring you Because the fact is If you just plant it And you work hard And you see where it's taking you And everything's happening You're going to realize Everything is doing What it is supposed to do That's why I'd ask you Are you doing what you're supposed to do? So take that to the bank baby The cult loves you I love you God bless you all To God be the glory Put a smile on your face. It's Monday. <laughs> but that is your philosophy, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you're hydrated, healthy, ready to go. Make sure you guys are ready to make sure you're hydrated, healthy. What did I say? Make sure you guys are subscribed. We're live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before open. Drop your thumbs up on the video. You're on mobile. Press high chat. X out the chat. Hit that thumbs up button. Second link for the nightly watch list in main channel. First link for the Scream Alerts Boot Camp and Real Estate Course. Follow me on Instagram at the trading fraternity keep it positive and respectful new guys don't be too shy to say hi or too high to say shy hold it down show some love mm -hmm -hmm.